Today I'll be showing you guys the best NVIDIA control panel settings to boost performance in Fortnite. Optimizing these settings will boost your FPS and lower your input delay. So without a further ado, let's hop right into the tutorial. So to get NVIDIA control panel, we're going to want to right click on our desktop and you should see an icon which says NVIDIA control panel and you want to click on it. If you don't see this option, you can download the app through Microsoft Store for free, but it only works if you have a NVIDIA graphics card. Now that we're on the app, this is where we'll be able to make all the optimizations to get the best performance out of our system. The first setting we're going to want to change is in our adjust image settings with preview section and we want to make sure use the advanced 3D image settings is turned on. Turning this setting on will allow us to get more settings which we can optimize. We then want to head over to manage 3D settings right here on the top left. And the important settings we're going to want to change is right here where it says low latency mode and we want to make sure this is turned on or ultra this ultimately depends on your system if you guys are on a low end system you might benefit from ultra but if you guys are on a mid to low end pc on is the best option to go we can then head over to power management mode right here and we want to make sure this is set to prefer maximum performance as it already says in its name it's going to allow us to run on maximum performance we can then head over to the setting right under it which is preferred refresh rate for your monitor make sure this is set to highest available we can then head over to shader cache size and we want to make sure this is set to driver default and right under that we'll see texture filtering and anisotropic filtering sample option and we want to make sure this is set to on texture filtering negative lod bias should be set to allow and texture filtering quality should be set to high performance after you've set all those changes you just want to hit apply on the bottom right and then we can head over to set physics configuration and where it says select physics processor you want to make sure this is set to your gpu so i'll put on my gpu and then we can head over to the next setting which is in display and we want to hit change resolution and i suggest putting this on your native resolution which it should have a bracket native right here if you do want to stretch resolution or a different resolution you can play around with these settings here but i suggest just going with your native you then want to head over to refresh rate right here and you want to make sure this is on the highest option available so for me it's 144 hertz and then we can head over to adjust desktop color settings and these settings really just depend on what you prefer but for me i like putting my digital vibrance to the max as the colors look the best when you have it on 100 and for our last settings we're going to want to change we want to head over to adjust desktop size and position and we want to make sure scaling mode is set to full screen perform scaling on should be set to gpu override the scaling mode set by games and programs should be checked your resolution should be the one you set and change resolution and your refresh rate should be set to the highest available so i'll put it on 144 hertz once again and that'll be all the settings we need to change if you guys found this tutorial helpful i'd appreciate if you guys liked and subscribed and i'll catch you guys in the next video